Let's get to work. Alright, so, uh, so are we on? Are you? Thank you, stop. I, you like, I love your aesthetic so much. Thank you so I much. We it. are here tonight with Miss Marty Gould coming. Yeah. And we just, we are here at 54 Hello for your show. What yeah. was your show titled this evening? Uh, oh my god, what was it called? Marty Cummings, A Lonely Girl's Road to the Trap Yeah. <laughs> You know, I you know, so this is only my second show with you. Now I know you in the community. Oh yeah, you've been to you've been to Fifty Four Below before. I came from the Christmas show, which was fantastic. Oh, yes. I love Christmas. It was wonderful, and you're oh my god, your parents were in the audience, and I couldn't believe it. Like I, this is the first Fifty Four Below. This is my fourth Fifty Four Below show, and the first one they didn't come to because they're at home getting ready for my wedding. They're busy. Oh yeah, they're like trying to get the house together. So they're yes. Yeah, so that's why here. we're here because we are celebrating Miss Marty's wedding, and I mean who. Can believe it. And, uh, you know what? This show was so wonderful. I, it was so wonderful. I have never really heard you like blow. I've never really. What? I've never really. During the during the Christmas <laughs> show, like you know, you know what I mean. I was like, she sets me up for jokes like that all the damn time. Um, <laughs> Because look at me, I'm like Apple. I mean, I have a video of it if you want to hear it. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> we all got videos, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Not just of you, okay? I'm uh, uh, but so, but during the Christmas show, it's like Christmas show is very specific. Yeah. You, you do yeah, yeah. very certain sorts of things. Uh, like, I know someone's holding up jewelry. Someone lost an earring, a ring. Um, so you do very specific things. Tonight, you off the jump were like rocking the house down. Oh, that, well, I was such a good band. Like I love Marty and the Comers. Yes. It's, uh, Barry oh and Yuka and Eric. And normally Bradford Proctor, who does my Monday show at Therapy, plays yes. piano for us. Mm -hmm. But he has to get up for work at like seven in the morning. Yes. And it's a Thursday. I love Bradford. I love Bradford. Uh, but my band is so great. And we did the. Um, so I did before the Christmas show that you saw. I did two rock concerts here. So when we did this show, uh, Fifty Four Below approached me for their. Cause normally I do Friday shows, uh, like my own thing, and then Vodka Stinger approached me to do this uh, as part of their drag series, and I was yes. like, well, I've already done the rock show, and I did the Christmas show, so what can I do? So we put this together, and then I thought, well, I have my band, well, at first I wasn't going to be at the band, it was just going to be me and Eric trying acoustic, and then we had a rehearsal, and I was like, no, I want to do some, like, I, I want the band, I think, I need the band. The band, the band yeah, I, it would have been so different without them. Oh and my gosh, I can't even believe it. Like, I mean, seriously, like, I just don't, I, I don't sing like that. I'm a live singer, but like, to, a great singer. Say, well, thank you, but like, I can't do that. Well, I, like, and that, like, when you came out here and I was like, oh, like, I never heard that song. The thing like, that's so great, like, okay, so I, so a lot of people know me for like, oh, she missed the note, or she like, or whatever. It's so different being in a, like, a bar setting with like a track compared to having a live band, a live band. where you can like really custom build the songs to fit your voice and also like if I fuck up in this like it doesn't feel as bad because it, you know it's that like the energy is so high actually when you so, fuck up in this it's not a fuck up yeah because you're in this environment yeah and the yeah. energy is just so it's like the band is going and you're going so if you miss a note it doesn't matter because you're just like rocking with the band whereas if you're like in a gay bar and you're with a track and you miss a note like it's painfully obvious that you missed it and you have to make a joke yes. about it and people are still yeah. sometimes but here it's like it's so comfortable and so we did two songs the Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne and Rebel Rebel by David Bowie were in my rock show Shows and we were like, well, that kind of can fit into what the theme tonight. of this show. So we're on my first of all. Uh, now your theme tonight was basically a kind of like a triptych of your your love. Yeah, it was like a, leading up to your your now your fiance. Yeah, it was very loose, like telling of my experience of like being in Catholic school and being gay and what you know. But I made that like more humorous. I always like to hit him like <laughs> I mean, you, I think you find you stuff might have seen my rock show, right? So, you know, you just, uh, well, I like to what I do. So I really like to just hit him with a bunch of like inappropriate funny stories of 54 below and then bring him down and make him cry. Yeah. So, oh my god, you did exactly that. <laughs> so like so I was like, okay, we'll talk about being in Catholic high school and gay and, and that's funny and then like, you know, I pooped on somebody's dick and they broke up with me and he just <laughs> me. So that's funny. And then I was with this guy and I did a lot of drugs and he broke up with me for it. That's funny, but it's getting more serious and then like I meet the love of my life and I've like found happiness and then you like hit it and I think it's absolutely a, like uh, how do I want to word it like I love doing um I love doing these shows because it showcases like my drawing self but then I feel like everybody has an idea of who they think I am uh, in the drag world and so these concerts are an opportunity for me to show like 
actually who I you are, not what people think. Yeah, about. you know, there's like a, I mean, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to like think too high. Like people think this about me. But, you know, there's like when you're a drag queen, people have an idea of who they think you are based on what they yeah. see on a daily basis. So this is an opportunity for me to take like the drag character and the persona that like people know, and then give them it like an inside look of who I, I actually am as a. As a performer and a person. Yeah, underneath. Yeah, wonderful. Underneath, at the end of the day, well, after I all the think you totally yeah. nailed it. Because by the end there, I, I don't know. I, like, you're, you're seriously season pro. Like, I can't. And, like, by the end, I was, I was a little perplexed. Seriously, like, I was like, oh, great. Very I'm going to have my hanky. Yes! <laughs> I was like, dab, 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 because it was very sweet. But honestly, tonight, <laughs> do you want to know what I actually was thinking when I was sitting and watching the show? I was like, this is a wonderful show because I'm... I, I'm learning something actually about me, and like because something that you were speaking about uh, this evening, the shows like are like things I'm personally dealing with, and I feel I can like take myself out of here and feel a little bit better. And so that is why we do these kinds of yeah. things. And I'm sitting here, I was like, oh my god, I'm like learning about myself. Adam Marty Gold coming show. <laughs> It was like this poop joke lady oh is teaching God. me stuff. I feel like my Angela. Um, I mean, uh, no. <laughs> that's great, but that's the thing. I feel like, like my Angela. We all have these like we have these like we all go in New York in, as a drag queen in New York. We're performers and we're drag queens. So people already have that expectation of who they think we are. And then dating in general yeah, sucks. It does, and it's because hard. they forget that we're people. Yeah, so like this show, you know, I just wanted to share my personal experience. And I hope, like, but that's the thing. It's like, if one person can relate to it, then like, great. If nobody relates to it, they still have a good time, great. But like, we all have that experience of, okay, well, we're gay and we're drag queens and dating sucks, and we're trying to get by and make a living, and then, so there's all these like layers that we experience, yeah, you know? exactly. But look at where you are now, and like, you're getting ready to hitch up with the man of your dreams, oh, who's so wonderful, he's, he's so a fantastic sweet. guy. Oh, he really is, he's very sweet, he's super talented. I, honest to God, don't know how he puts up with And me. it's such a wonderful, it's it's a smart match. I, I am mean, a I'm super happy nightmare for you. Oh, I don't oh, know how he does it. I literally, wait. like, I'll It's your nightmare here, what are you talking oh, about? <laughs> I watch like movies and I'm like, oh my god, that's me. Oh my god, I'm a fucking lunatic. Well, that's okay. what I think about. I think we all think we're sort of crazy. But oh listen, god, so, so congratulations. Thanks, babe. We are so excited for you. Thanks. The whole city is. We love you, girl. We love Mr. Martin. Oh, we gotta wrap it up. You're yes. gorgeous. Thank you. Siobhan, you're gorgeous. Right. Thank you guys for being here. You Thanks. are so welcome. Bye. 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 We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.